Do any of you guys have granola parents? Okay, let me explain, let me explain. Okay, granola parents are like, or, or they're also called like crunchy parents. Uh, and they're called that because like, because like a, a common snack is like granola bars and stuff, but the, it goes like way deeper than that. It goes like way deeper than that. They're all about like, um, like home remedies and stuff, like essential oils. Uh, let me tell you guys a thing or two about growing up with granola parents, okay? Uh, by the way, uh, I just have to, like, clarify. I have a great relationship with my parents. Uh, I love them both, uh, and we get along very, very well. But when I was a kid, if we got sick, they gave us, like, essential oils. Like, uh, they were- okay, this is so embarrassing. They were called, uh, Sniffies, uh, because we were kids at the time. Okay, <laughs> I'm already losing it. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> just, just, just give me, hold on, <laughs> one sec. They were called sniffies, okay? And basically what they were is it would be like a sock or like, or like a, a or like a dish rag, okay? And they, we, they were like delegated dish rags that were like the sniffy rags, right? Uh, and what we would do is we would put like, like essential oils on them uh, and we would like, like sniff them if we were sick. So, <laughs> so, so, so like, like eucalyptus and like lemon was a really popular one. And we would like sniff them, right? And there was like, uh, like, like eucalyptus and like lemon were the really popular ones. Like there was also lavender. Okay. This is just the worst chat because one day, one day I'm sick and I have to go to school. And I thought this was like, I, I, I knew at the time I was in like middle school, I knew it was like a little bit weird, but I didn't think it was like that weird, right? I thought like m maybe other kids would like do this kind of thing. <laughs> Today we learned that Juniper was given drugs by her parents and called them sniffies. <laughs> Trucker Hellbringer. So what happened was uh, I was sick. I was I, I, I was like very congested. I was very sniffy and I was going to school uh, and I took a little plastic like sandwich bag and I put in like a little sock that had eucalyptus oil on it and I put it in the plastic bag and I brought it with me to school. Okay. And like, you know, I just had like had it like in the front pouch of my hoodie so that I could smell it. <laughs> so that I could smell it. And I remember walking in to my like first class period. Oh, uh, thank you for the bits fancy soups. And every single person who walked in was like, holy shit, what the fuck is that smell? <laughs> And like, I just had to pretend to be completely uninvolved because it finally clicked in. At that point, I was like, oh, this isn't normal. <laughs> like, oh, most kids don't even know what the fuck essential oils are. Okay. Fuck, man. So embarrassing. And I think I had to exp I think I explained it to somebody too. Like one of my friends sat next to me. I only have a vague memory of this and I'm sorry. Uh, like I, I don't really remember the details of this conversation, but one of my friends sat next to me and I had to explain to her like, yo, I'm uh, like, um, sorry about the smell. I, I brought a sock <laughs> with oils on it. <laughs> <laughs> and I and you're supposed to sniff it and it helps you not be sick anymore. <laughs> I can't fucking oh, so embarrassing. <laughs> I have a goddamn highlight reel of embarrassing moments. I really do, Bob. I really do. <laughs> So the feet obsession started early with sock oil, huh? No! You're a sick fuck, wacko. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Thank you for the 500 bits. <laughs> you sick.